In a land of cruise ships and slick cars, it seems everything's new in Miami. Auto detailer Luis Gras makes new cars sparkle to perfection, but it's an old car he's most proud of. Luis rebuilt this 1951 Chevy truck himself using skills he learned over a lifetime of oppression. Luis grew up in Cuba. Like millions of others, his life and future were under the control of Cuban President Fidel Castro. To earn money, Luis invented a machine to squeeze juice from sugar cane. He sold sweet drinks to tourists. But the government took his machine and livelihood away. So Luis took off for America. In 2003, news media the world over broadcast this image, a dozen Cubans sailing for freedom aboard an old green Chevy truck. Luis and his three-year-old son, Angel, were on board. Luis explained to me that few new cars entered Cuba after the revolution in the 1950s, but his old one worked just fine. He tells me he was scared, building the boat in secret and pushing from shore in the dark of night. But he was willing to risk everything for a better life in America. The Coast Guard eventually caught up with the travelers, sent them back to Cuba, and sank the original truck. This one is an exact replica, a symbol of freedom, on display at the Miami Chevy dealership where Luis now earns his living. So how did he finally get here if the Coast Guard sank the truck? In a 1959 Buick. Well, he didn't come here to slouch or collect unemployment or, or welfare. Assistant service manager Aiden Sierra says Luis is clearly a skilled engineer now a model employee. He's a good worker. Louis is awesome. He's like one of the best guys. He never gives problems. He's happy all the time, always positive. Thank you. Everybody likes him, and he just does one car after the other like a robot. I mean, he's fast. At the end of the day, his work is clean. As for the truck, it's licensed both as a motor vehicle and a water vessel. It's hybrid. It's amphibious is what it is. It is that. <laughs> the dealership will entertain any offers, but can't begin to put a price on this symbol of freedom. He doesn't speak English and he's not from here, but he's about as American, would you say, as anybody you know? Maybe more, because some people that were actually born in this country they talk bad about it and don't defend it when other people talk bad about it and are not proud of, of being born here and have a lot of bad things to say about it when he really does has none of those. He, he loves, I mean, this is it, he made it. This is his Mecca. What do you miss about Cuba? Uh, my people, uh, my country, uh, everything. Yeah. everything. Luis says the truck is a symbol for everyone who shares the American dream of liberty and freedom freedom that he'd set sail for any day.